Welcome to Mitsubishi on the Machining Cloud app. This video will show you how to search for a tool, how to do a quick search, and how to download a 3D model. To begin, you will be prompted to sign in. Once you are signed in, go to the book icon on the upper right corner and select Mitsubishi. You should have already created a job from our video, Introduction and How to Create a Job, prior to beginning your work process. We are going to search for a tool by clicking on Search. There are two options available in searching for a tool. Search by product family is the option you should use if you do not know a tool order number. For our example, we will search for a tool item. We could use filters to narrow down the parameters. Please note that there is an inch or a metric option. For our example, we will use the metric option. I will select a max cutting depth of 6 mm from the pull-down menu here. This applied filter will reduce the items that fit our parameters. Filters are optional. If you already have some knowledge of what you are looking for, then filters don't necessarily have to be applied. Let's now search the Mitsubishi product tree and try to find tools that might complete the final assembly that we're putting together. Select this one. Click on Create a new tool assembly. Add the insert. The tool is now complete. Open the right panel to view the 3D assembly of the tool we just created. You can also download the model here. Various formats are available depending on your needs. We will add this to our current job, which we previously named Demo Job 1. We will name our newly created tool T1 Face Milling. If you know the tool order number you are looking for, you could use the Quick Search, which is option 2 in Search, to create the same tool in just a few seconds. Type in the tool order number or EDP number, or just part of the number. Select the tool. Click Create an Assembly. Now add the insert. You could select the insert by browsing the product catalog or by typing the catalog number of the insert into the Quick Search filter on the top right, which we will demonstrate here. Now let's place your newly created tool in your library for future use or reference. Simply select the tool you just created, click on the Add To icon, then select My Tools. Click the Copy To icon and select Current Job. The Demo Job 1 we created earlier shows up here. Click Continue. Go to Job on the left menu. Go to Current Job. You will see our newly created tool in the Tool list which is now stored in your library. You can access this anytime without having to go through the entire process again for your future jobs. Note that you could also save your tools directly to your library without going through a job. Thank you for joining us today.